everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to my channel. From the title of this video, you know this is another Organizing with Talia video. So today I want to share with you how I organize all of my decals. A lot of people have asked me how I organize my water decals, my like nail graphics, if you guys use nail graphics at all, um, or any other sort of little decals. So I'm really excited to share this with you because it's kind of like a nail deck decal expansion video for me because the system I'm using right now I'm gonna keep using it but I'm gonna upgrade it a little bit so hopefully it helps you guys out um, let us jump in and I'll show you what I'm currently using and what I'm gonna upgrade to okay so this is my current decal binder system the best time to look for super cute binders is um, fall time right before back to school uh, like Walmart and Staples comes out with really cute uh, binders around that time so I got this one at I think Walmart like a few years ago but this is just kind of how I organize my decal binder. I used to keep track of all like my Valentine's Day stamping images as well as like my Christmas stamping images. However, I have way too many plates to even do this now. So I just, I don't do that. That can actually probably just be taken right out of there. So I have all my little tabbies here and I have, currently I have it listed as seasonal, Hello Kitty, fun decals, um, abstract, floral, and then along the sides I have stars and hearts, NHL, and nail graphics. All these labels are, are sticky notes and um, you can just get them in like packs that look like this and then I've just labeled them with my label maker. And they're really nice because they're repositionable so you can put them like exactly where you want them and so they don't overlap. So this is kind of how I have my system right now and I am going to stick with this system. Like I absolutely love this. It works really well for my everyday life um, of doing nails. However, this giant bag here is full of decals as well as I have a whole bunch of decals that I've ordered recently. So I need to reorganize all of these and I need a bigger system is what I need. I'm switching to this binder and this I got at Walmart like if I don't even know a few years ago back to school and I love this binder. I love like the quilted fabricness of it. I really hope that they come out with these again because I would definitely get another one of these. And then these are just hockey card or you know collectible card sheets and these I just got at the dollar store. That's probably the best place to get them from. So the first thing I'm going to do is transfer all of my decals from my old binder into this one. So I'm going to take these out so that I have room to do that. Okay, so I just shut the light off so that I can not get so much glare on here. I'm hoping there's enough sunlight for you guys to be able to see this. But I just noticed in my old binder that I had this little back sleeve too and a nail tech friend of mine, she gave me like a whole bunch of like little samples of some of these shells and they're all labeled but they fit perfectly in these little compartments. So I have that and then I also have like, um, like nail essentials that send me some stuff at one point, some little like beads. Um, foils. I've got just like a whole bunch of stuff in here that actually fits really nice. These are old decals that I honestly just don't even like anymore so they're just kind of like stashed at the back here. But this will be my new binder system here so I can fit like a lot more stuff in it. What I'm gonna, just gonna put that to the side and what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna sort through all of my current decals that need a home. <laughs> that is our first step here. So based on the categories that were in my nail decal binder, I'm just going to sort all of these. Okay, so I have my different categories here. I have like my Hello Kitty ones, I have some nail graphics here, um, some seasonal, hockey, these are like used fun ones. Um, this is like my fun stack. This is my weird shaped decals. And this is like my floral and uh, nature stack over here. So now that everything is organized in its category, I can organize it into um, my decal binder over here. So let us do that next. Okay, let's do seasonal first. So in my seasonal category, I have Christmas, 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 and more Christmas. And then I jump to Halloween, Halloween, and then I do have a Valentine's Day and Easter insert. I just have no idea where it is, so um, it will eventually go in here whenever I find it here. So for my seasonal stickers, these are just ones that I've, I've used, well not recently, but used and not put away. And so I just have some Halloween skulls and then I have a Christmas one here that we're just going to find homes for in here. 
we go. So our seasonal ones are done. Um, in the front page of the Hello Kitty one, I have some Hello Kitty decals that are a little bit bigger, and I've just put them in these photo album inserts. And then all the rest are in my hockey card holders here. Okay, so how many Hello Kitty ones do I have to put in here? I have like four, so I'm actually going to put a whole new insert in here. And when I put my decals in here, I just take them out of their little packaging so that they fit a lot nicer in the slots. Okay, so my Hello Kitty ones are done. So our next category is um, fun decals. And by fun decals, I just mean like more unique things. So like we've got some Disney princesses, some Toy Stories, some jewelry, some makeup, shoes, like it's just kind of like unique things. So for this video, I'm just gonna kind of put them wherever. Um, if I was gonna organize this category, I could go into like really in depth on how to organize it. Like I could do all girly ones and then all Disney ones and then all vacation ones and all like, I don't know, cat ones. Like you could really get into like in depth with the fun decals, but for this video and just for today, um, I'm just gonna kind of put these like wherever. At one point they did kind of all have like a category and they all had like a rhyme or reason. Okay, but for now they're just gonna kind of go wherever just so I can get them in here. But all my Chevron ones did have like a little home together and then that way I know where to look for them. Got a bunch of dog decals. These are all gonna stay together. And then I have a bunch of cat ones too. I'm gonna keep all the cat ones together as well. Some Ninja Turtle ones, which are just gonna go on this side. These. Guys, like these BOP decals, um, you can get them on eBay, you can get them on like, I'm pretty sure you can probably get them on Amazon, you can get them at the Born Pretty store, they are the best water decals. Okay, so I've got a bunch of zipper decals here, which are really fun. And then I've also got some like already kind of used zipper decals, let's keep them all together. And I want to put them together and I cannot remember where they went at one point. We're going to put them right here. So I am, I'm gonna keep my gold ones together and I'm gonna keep my silver ones together. Some browning ones. I'm pretty sure I got these browning ones on Etsy if I remember correctly, but I'm gonna keep, um, I just got some black ones and then I got some pink ones. I'm gonna make sure to keep those together. Same thing with these ones. I got some Michael Kors ones on Etsy. And I also have like a whole ton of these like little handcuff ones, which I think I just got off of eBay. I got these like a long time ago. What else do I have left to organize? I have some peacock ones. Some more mustaches, some gold ones, some leopard, some full nail ones. Oh geez, we got lots. And honestly, when I open up my decal binder for people to come and look through, I don't really have like a rhyme or reason as to what they want either. So for now, just keeping this kind of all over the place like this is, it works for me. So I totally understand if this is like not your groove and it's driving you nuts here. And in all honesty, this isn't usually how I work either, but try and keep um, like the decals itself together. So like these Marilyn Monroe ones, these ones are gonna go together and they're gonna stay right there. I have a mustache decals. I'm gonna put the mustaches in there. They're not the same brand, but they will work there. We have come to the end and I still have a bunch of decals to add. So I'm just gonna add another sheet. Okay, so now that all of our fun decals are organized, we're moving on to our floral section. And in my floral section, I keep a lot of kind of like nature ones. So it's not just flowers. It's like the butterfly ones. It's um, everything goes into here. So I'm just gonna put my entire stack in here now. Again, this one I'm just gonna do kind of randomly as well, just to kind of get them in here. I know that if I'm looking for floral, or like butterflies or whatever I know to come to this section. And you know what I'm actually gonna do? <laughs> I do not use any of these decals. I just use water decals. I seriously do not like like sticky decals anymore. So I am just gonna get rid of, honestly guys, I'm just gonna get rid of all these. I don't like them. They're taking up space in here that is just not necessary. I used to use a lot of these decals when I first started and, and if you are just kind of starting they're like a really good really good thing to use but I don't know I don't I'm not really a fan of these anymore so I don't know if you are interested in any of these decals that I'm getting rid of just comment below and let me know and if there's like a bunch of interest maybe I'll just do like a random draw and just send them to the winner but I don't I don't use these 
Okay, so my entire floral one is like all cleared out now. So let's go in and add a whole bunch of water decals to it. This is a really funny like set of decals here. There's like literally, oh they're white. Oh, <laughs> like there's nothing on here. No, they're white decals. Good job to the end. way better about my floral section now oh and look there's room to grow <laughs> okay yeah so I've got this like stack of like floral sticky decals that I will not use so um, if you're okay with me like mailing these to you um, I'm not gonna pay for like extra shipping or anything but I'll mail these to somebody who wants them um, just comment below if you use these decals or if you like them or whatever and um, like I said if there's a lot of interest I will pick like a random winner to win these or give these to but um, yeah if you want them just let me know okay so our next category that we're moving on to is well I just have it labeled as NHL but I actually use it for like all sort of sports teams so um, one of my clients likes um, the Eagles football team so um, these are for her nobody else is allowed to use them but they go in here as well and we are just finishing up our hockey season here so um, a lot of these decals I have been using recently I kind of just like honestly guys just randomly put in here but so that I can still see what I have okay so that was easy now we're moving on to nail graphics so if you guys know what nail graphics are they are just very 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 thin decals is what they are I don't even know if they make nail graphics anymore there was kind of like a big like these were super popular for a while and then they just kind of phased out so I've got a bunch of like nail graphics I do kind of use them every once in a while here okay now we're moving on to like our weird shape decals and by weird I just mean that they're like a little bit bigger so like this shape won't fit in like the normal size ones. So what we do is we put them in um, these like four by six kind of photo holders is what, where those go. And I don't really have them super organized in here just because like if I'm gonna look for them then I would just come to the back here. But all I'm gonna do for these is take them all out of their container, out of their packaging. And I'm just going to keep like these sized ones together and then like these sized ones stacked together is all I'm going to do. So all of these are just going to go in here and then all of these ones are just going to go in here. And until I get some more of these I can't really sort them any further than that but for now they kind of just have a home in there. And I also have these like One's from LCN. They call them nail tattoos. I'm guessing that means they're water decals. And I am just gonna put these kind of like bigger ones in this little divider. So this one here just houses all of my kind of bigger ones. And it's got like a little flap at the top to keep them all secure in here. So I'm gonna put these larger ones in here as well as these ones. I think these ones were like sent to me from a company or something. As well as I got these when I went down to the States, these Dashing Diva ones. Um, they had these at Cosmo Prof in the States. They didn't have them up here. So I'm just going to keep those back there as well. That was a little flat yet. Oh, I've got one more in here. Oh, no, two more. <laughs> that can go back here. So it looks kind of messy, but um, for now, this is just kind of where they're going to go until I get some more like plastic divider thing. So this gives you an idea of how I store my nail art in here. Alrighty guys, so this is my nail decal binder. It is all like freshly organized. It's got everything in it. Um, we have them organized by different categories. So we have our seasonal, our Hello Kitty, our fun decals, our floral, stars and hearts, NHL, nail graphics. And then at the back, as you saw, we've got kind of like the weird shaped ones or whatever that don't really have a home anywhere else. So hopefully this helped you guys. Hopefully it gives you some ideas of how to store your nail decals. Um, I was just gonna say that like in the future I might go into like the fun decal category and organize these a little bit better. But in all honesty, this I don't use decals like a whole heck of a lot. And so when I need them, I know that my fun decals are in this category, my floral is in this category, and I don't really have to go like too far digging so I don't really think I'm personally going to go in and organize them much more than what it is 
Um, this will be perfect. It just sits in one of my drawers in my IKEA drawer unit. And um, whenever I need a decal or my clients want to look through decals, here's the binder that I can give them. And I hope this video helped you guys. Make sure you are following me on all of my social media, including my Instagram, my Pinterest, and my Facebook. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.